it's me Jenny from your Health Matter channel and in my today's video, I will discuss about the part 2 of Fertility Reproductive and Infertility Option. Our topic to be discussed in this presentation will be Infertility Treatments Option and how to get pregnant naturally. Same as the part 1 of this video, my objective will be inform couples about alternatives to infertility treatment and inform couples with infertility about what treatments entails, including risks and benefits. So, let's begin. What are available infertility treatments? Infertility treatments include treating antiphospholipid antibodies. Antiphospholipid antibodies is cause blood clots and prevent implantation. A low dose of aspirin therapy works wonder when treating APAS in the blood. For graver cases, anticoagulants are used to thin out the blood and improve blood circulation in the uterus. Removing natural killer cells. Natural killer cells present in excess begin to attack the embryo. An intravenous treatment of gamma globin, intralipid infusion, and steroids are often used to this case. Treating antinuclear antibodies. Abundance of antinuclear antibodies in the body is treated with steroids, intake of herbs that increase circulation, and intake of antioxidant, zinc supplements, alkaline generating food, and reducing the levels of stress. Balancing the responses of the immune system is the key of treating antinuclear antibodies. Treating anti-sperm antibodies. To suppress the reaction in the body caused by anti-sperm antibodies interacting with the sperm, low doses of steroids are often made use of. Treating age-related infertility. Since age is possible threat of female fertility, infertility treatments involving care of the kidneys and the spleen will help a woman keep the age-related problem of pregnancy at bay. Treating infection that hinder pregnancy. Antibiotic treatments to exterminate the harmful bacteria from the body are recommended by most doctors who conduct intravenous fusion. Nutritious food and immune enhancing supplements are also used to prevent harmful bacteria from growing in the body. When detected in one partner, antibiotic treatments for harmful bacteria must be carried out in both partners since they are likely to have infected each other during intercourse. Treating Sperm Problems Fertility drugs are available that enhance sperm production and improve motility. Since sperm motility is one of the major factors affecting pregnancy, treatments in males are incomplete without looking into this. Infertility Treatments Reminder Infertility treatments are possible with a whole new range of medicines that is available to the public these days, but it must also be kept in mind that these treatments can be painful, often come without harmful side effects, and the results are far from guaranteed. On the other hand, following the holistic approach with a healthy diet, regular exercise, abstinence from alcohol, nicotine, and other drugs, stress management, acupunctures, etc. can almost guarantee positive and fast result. How to get pregnant naturally When trying to get pregnant naturally, the most important factor is to understand the menstrual cycle and the timing of ovulation, which leads to optimum chances of getting impregnated. Usually, ovulation occurs around the 14th day and hence, to get pregnant naturally, a couple should have as much sexual intercourse as possible between the 12th and the 15th day. Different women have slightly varying menstrual cycles. Therefore, to improve the chances of becoming pregnant, it is imperative to study one's period and calculate exactly when one ovulates. Determining the signs of ovulation to check for the right timings of ovulation, a woman can do one or many of the following things. 
Keep a calendar. Keep a calendar to chart the days is an easy and effective method to determine the right time to have sexual intercourse. Keep a check on vaginal fluids. Mucus discharged from the vagina usually becomes heavier, thinner, clearer, and stretchy during ovulation when compared to the usual times. Feel the inside of the vagina. During ovulation, the cervix is softer and slightly more open than usual. Keep tabs on any sharp pain in the abdomen. Sharp pain in the abdomen or some slight spotting may be indicative of ovulation. Other physical conditions, headache, bloating, breast tenderness, and pain may be sign of ovulation. Having checked for ovulation, there are some other things that an individual can do to increase the chances of getting pregnant naturally. This includes lying still for a while after having sexual intercourse, avoiding the bathroom for about 30 minutes after having sexual intercourse, and most importantly, figuring out how many times one should have sexual intercourse. Men often neglect their own part to play in this whole scenario. The sperms need to be of the correct constitution, correct shape, and correct motility too, or else, however fertile the women may be, impregnation does not occur naturally. A way of ensuring that the sperms are undamaged is by wearing boxers instead of briefs. Boxers help in keeping the testicles from overheating and damaging sperms. For both women and men, the anatomical and hormonal factors are not the only ones to be monitored and corrected. In most cases, failure to conceive may result from an improper diet, undue stress, the use of drugs like alcohol and nicotine, and even environmental factors such as proximity to harmful doses of pesticides. Abstinence from such factors goes a long way in ensuring a pregnancy. The important things to remember One should always keep in mind that the holistic approach to solving a problem is the optimal way to tackle infertility. Getting regular health checks up, taking supplements to combat existing problem, exercising and stress reduction techniques are only the part of the holistic solution to infertility which considers the problem as a part of a whole unlike the conventional approach which tackles a specific body organ in its attempt to heal. The holistic approach is not only a survive way to increase your chances of conception, but it also guarantees a safe and healthy pregnancy. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you learned something from our video from part 1 and part 2 of fertility health issues. And if you are watching this and you're trying to get pregnant, our prayers are with you and we believe it will happen for you very soon. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.